Her nickname was the Sunshine Girl because she always had a smile on her face. She just emanated this happiness from within her and she took joy in so many things. 13-year-old Natalie had a peanut allergy and she was very careful about what she ate. Her family always carried EpiPens. On the last evening of summer camp, she grabbed an unlabeled Rice Krispie treat. What Natalie didn't know is that peanut butter had been added to the recipe. She just ate one bite and spit it out because um, it didn't taste right to her. And she came and, and got Lewis and I, and, and uh, she actually was fine. Natalie's parents gave her some Benadryl and waited. For 20 minutes, Natalie seemed fine. Then she vomited and complained that it was hard to breathe. Her father, a trained surgeon, administered an EpiPen while she laid in her mother's arms. With no relief for his daughter, he gave her another shot, but her symptoms continued to worsen. While waiting for paramedics to arrive, her father desperately broke into the camp's emergency medical supplies. He administered a third EpiPen. Paramedics arrived and tried to revive Natalie. They were unsuccessful. She died in the arms of her parents. Food allergies are no joke. If you look at this food, to most of us, it represents healthy ingredients that are used to make delicious food. But for people with food allergies, these can be terrifying poisons that are capable of killing them. While we can't eliminate all allergens from our kitchens, we still have to keep our customers with allergies safe. So how do we do that? Well, we start by focusing on the 12 foods that are responsible for 90% of food allergies. And they are peanuts and tree nuts, wheat and gluten, milk and eggs, fish and shellfish, sesame and soy, sulfites, and mustard. All of our recipes are specifically tagged if they contain one of these allergens. Customers can see them by using our online allergen filter. An allergic reaction can happen in a number of different ways. If the person eats the food they're allergic to, if it touches their skin, or if they even breathe the allergen, they can have a problem. The child or adult may experience symptoms affecting his or her skin or mucosal tissue, or perhaps the gastrointestinal system. The individual may experience symptoms within the central nervous system, like dizziness or confusion, or within the cardiovascular system, like chest pain or fainting. The reaction may affect the airway, causing itching, tightness, swelling, or wheezing. Others have described the feeling of having a baseball or a rock lodged in their chest or back. Symptoms of an allergic reaction can occur right away, or sometimes there can be a delay. They can be mild, or as you've just seen, they can be severe. Unfortunately, in some cases, they can be fatal. SAGE has published its policy in the Serve It Safely binder, where you'll find other information like the fact sheets and standard operating procedures for the preparation and service of allergen-containing items. In the first section of the binder, there are clear instructions of what to do if an allergic reaction were ever to happen in your venue. We hope it never happens, but if it does, you must be prepared. When we were asked to come on campus in 1999, uh, there had been an incident here at the school where a young man was offered to eat some M&Ms, a young, a young kid, and um, he did accept them and eat them, and uh, it wasn't good. He didn't realize he was so young. We have first graders here, kindergartners, and he was so young that he didn't understand he shouldn't be eating that particular type of candy, and uh, it didn't end well. Um, the young man passed on. Every day we serve a product in here that certain people on this campus are allergic to, deathly allergic to. It's strange when you think that they could die from a product that we have in here. Anybody else would be, if you had paint, if you had chemicals for cleaning, if you had these things, you wouldn't let children in the room, right? We have things that they're allergic to that they have to be part of. We can't say no to them. We try and create an atmosphere where we know what's in here, we prevent bad things from being in here, and we're advocates for them. 
Sage was brought into that school to make sure that a situation like the one you just heard about never happens again. To keep that promise, we have identified the four most likely causes of allergic reactions. First, check your attitude. A cavalier attitude is dangerous. For some food allergic individuals, exposure to even the most microscopic amount of the allergen is fatal. A second potential cause is hidden ingredients. Check labels regularly. This brings us to our third likely culprit, not following the SAGE approved recipe. You've just prepared an amazing arroz con gris. After tasting it, you decide that a dash of Worcestershire sauce will create the perfect contrast and absolutely wow your guests. Worcestershire is not in the improved recipe. It contains fish. The allergen isn't tagged. Any community members allergic to fish will not see the allergen tagged on today's menu. They are now at risk. The fourth culprit we want to combat is cross-contact. Cross-contact is when allergens come into contact with items that don't contain those same allergens. In the back of the house, we fried egg rolls on Monday. On Tuesday, we fried french fries in the same oil. Heat does not kill allergens. Those allergens are still present in the frying oil. So you've just heard about the symptoms of an allergic reaction and the most likely causes. Now let's turn our focus to preventing them from happening in any of our SAGE venues. We have developed a comprehensive tool to guide you. The best way to put all of these tools into practice is to know them well. It's really important to take this seriously, so don't forget to check your attitude. The right attitude ensures the right attention to detail, and that keeps people safe. But actually, in the long run, it made us better. We had to bake a lot of our own products. We couldn't find a granola that didn't have a nut warning. To this day, we produce more products than we buy. We're a very much a scratch company because you can barely buy a dessert that doesn't have a nut warning on it. So um, it's made us better. Um, that being said, it still scares me at night. Um, you're dealing with somebody's life, so you have to take it pretty serious. Till you see some one of your students taken away in an ambulance, it, it'll affect you. Um, so I guess we work at it every day. Very key, read those labels every day. Start a file.